Hello, hello. Mark45 here. We're taking a look at another LEGO exclusive set. Again, these are sets you can only obtain by shopping through legoshop.com or, at, or uh, attending a LEGO store. You don't really see these in other toy stores because they've got this exclusive yellow color. So the set we're going over here right now is a relatively small one. It is a wedding set. It is not a new set. It has actually been out for quite some time. I just saw this and thought might as well do a video on it because it actually looks interesting. It's one of those things you can gift to, you can put on display, you can honestly put this on display at an actual wedding, I'm not even going to lie. So, set 40197, and uh, just that, the front, and then here's the back of the box. Not much to see there, kind of looks like the bride and the groom are having a blast, and uh... Yeah, well speaking of the bride and groom, let's take a look at the different customizations you can do for the bride and groom. And here is the bride and the groom. Now these minifigs are customizable in the set depending on how this this wedding scenario you want to play out. The groom here, he's got this he's got the wedding ring. Perfect. No wedding is complete without it and it actually is the most important thing in the wedding, I think. And uh is just, he's just got his tuxedo outfit. Very nice. Got that hair very nice. Got that happy smile. Of course, this is wedding day. He's getting married. Who wouldn't be happy? And torso, the legs are just normal black. Nothing much there. The groom is using her robe. So, therefore, she's got the, the, ro the wedding ro wedding robe. Is that what they call it? I don't remember the name. Kind of wish they got that thing where they, they cover the face. Because that's kind of a traditional wedding outfit. And then torso, it's what you really expect with a wedding gear. Face, happy of course. And then she's got some flowers. Really? Does the groom hold flowers during a wedding? Pretty sure, I am pretty sure she'll be holding the groom's hand. And then the priest will be like, you may kiss the bride. My apologies guys, I just realized I've been calling her groom. That's the groom, this is the, this is the, the bride. Um, so... Please don't bombard me with comments saying I'm saying it wrong because I just realized my mistake. <laughs> but anyways, you can customize the bride and the groom and let me show you exactly what, how we can customize And The thing is, they include a bunch of different hair pieces for you to change up the, your scenario if you want the groom to be, wear, to be a gentleman and wear a hat. You feel free to do that. Look at that. I think I, look, I think this one looks really cool. He's wearing the he's wearing the hat. What a true gentleman. He can also change up the color of his hair. There you go. He can be a blondie, blondie dude. Cause why not? Or he can be a redhead. Redhead. I think that's what they're called. Ta da! So those are the options for for the for the groom. As for the bride, you can change up her hair color, and that's really it. So she can also be a blondie. Ta-da! And then her hair can just be brown. Voila. Alright. So those are the different options. You can customize your bride and groom. They're, although these are the only figs, I kind of wish there was a priest, you know? A priest fig would be very nice. To, to complete a true wedding scenario. So, those are the minifigs, and these are the things you can do to customize these minifigs. Now, let's take a look at the build itself. Honestly, I like the simple build. It is something I've been expecting. Good. It's got that nice romantic scenario, and of course, it's missing one important thing. The priest! Where, they, where the wedding cake is. The wedding cake should be somewhere else. But the priest, man! Who's gonna declare the man and woman, husband and wife, honestly. There's no room for the priest to stand, but look at this shrine, it's pretty romantic. You've got that brick built heart on the top, and of course the ground here is all nice and everything, and you got these lanterns which are made out of transparent minifig heads, how cool is that? Um, I'll show you the wedding cake in a second, just want to show you the rest of the shrine. And uh, you've got this really nice bridge here with some water, flowers, very romantic. Very lovely, and the, um, on the side here we've got these Disney princess color fences. I'm being very biased here, 
On the back here, the back is actually pretty nicely covered. Um, the fences here, look at the build on these fences, so detailed, I like that. There's also these flowers, of course, to add the romance. Look at this. Look at the fences and how nicely they're built. Even got these little pieces here, that's good. So that's the shrine. But there is sort of a play feature here. You can see there's these um, spinny bricks, right? So how does that work, you may ask? Well, the point is, you can play up the scenario. I just dropped the bride. I'm sorry, miss. So, here's how it works. They can literally be standing together, right? And then, if the priest is like, alright, uh, do you take her name, blah blah blah, as your wife? And then, you can, they can look at each other. And like hold each other's hands and then kiss, you know, all that wedding shenanigans. All the, because they're holding stuff here, it's kind of colliding. I'm actually, I'm going to move him back. I'm going to move him back here. There you go. There you go. But uh, if you're going to really play this scenario correctly, remove the accessories, take out the flowers, and just have him hold the wedding ring. And uh, yeah, so you can diff you can play out the scenario. You can even have them look all the way out here as they're waving to the crowd or something. That's very cool. Cool neat play feature, but it's missing. It's still missing the priest, man. It is still missing the priest, and I will not forgive Lego for not including the priest in a wedding set, of course. Now, the cake. The last thing on the list here is the wedding cake. From the very top, you've got a white. Mini fig, mini mini fig scale, mini figure. You got a white one and a black one. Again, that's to represent the husband and wife on the cakes. Because they usually got these mini statues on the top of them. And then the cake here is very, very sweet. It's got the vanilla, it's got the strawberries. No chocolate. Interesting. Well, this is going to be one very sweet cake, I'll tell you that. Um, again, this is a cool way to get these pieces, though. I really, I, I like these pieces. The, Minifigure scale minifigs almost look like those Star Wars holograms, and that's really cool. I think these are some really good pieces. If you're selling like a statue store, for if you're building your own custom action figure store and this stuff, like how cool would it be to have these pieces? So, cool way to get these pieces. And the shrine overall, it's got that really cool small play feature, and the shrine itself is a very nice romantic build. It really sets the scene quite well for a, a wedding in the lego universe so in the end what do i think of this set now this set is 12 to 15 dollars i got mine for 12 but at some point i think i saw it was sold for 15 and i think this is worth it it's a small set it's an affordable set get it but i wouldn't say <laughs> as a little kid like, eh, weddings aren't really too interesting for our children. But I sing for like special occasions. Let's say like it's your sister's wedding day or something. And you want to get something nice for her. Get this set. Because why the heck not, honestly? This sets the scene quite well. And I like how it's being displayed. Now the only downfall is there is no priest. No wedding is complete without a priest. Just that's the only thing I don't like about the set. I do like the customizations. They give you a lot of different hair pieces and things you can customize your bride and your groom. That is awesome. And uh, the rings are quite nice. Same ring from Lord of the Rings, by the way. The cake is quite nice. And apart from that, the shrine build itself is very nice. So I'm gonna give this set a nine out of ten. You know why I'm gonna say one point off. No priest. So that's it for. That, those are my thoughts on this set that's actually not new, it's been out for some time. But still, if you are interested in this set, go, please go buy it. I'm saying this is a good set. I would highly recommend it. So that's it for this one. I hope you guys have time to analyze my thoughts and think what if you want this set for yourself or not. Because it's a really small set, I think it's a good set. So. That's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. I'll bring you all more content very soon. So have a good day, everyone. Take care. Goodbye. Peace out.